Hi folks, this is Dan from Enterprise DevOps. Today we are going to configure Engine X Proxy Manager, which is our Docker installation. Before that, we we are choose to use Engine X Proxy Server on Ubuntu or CentOS or Oracle Images, but with the time the approaches are changed. So as we all using container services these days, so why not use Nginx proxy as a container also? So let's just move to the documentation and let's see how we can configure it. It come up with two steps, a quick setup and the full setup. I'll just go through the full setup. In the full setup, you have the your service, the images, the ports which you are going port 8 is for the HTTP, port 443 is for the HTTPS and port 81 is for the configuration for the admin tenant. You can you can mount the data also if you want to persist you can connect with the external DBs it all depends on your configuration for just for the demo we are just going to use the quick setup basically this is our docker compose here I'll just I'll just copy this file here and I can do docker compose up from here as well but as we are using container a web UI for for containers from where you can easily manage your containers they are logging execution and metrics everything so we'll just go and try to deploy from here just go move to the stacks add a stack stack is basically a group of containers or a single container so i'm adding a stack in the next proxy just copy paste this stuff here just copy paste the configuration file here i don't want to process data for now but if you want you can just keep it and I will just deploy this stack from here with a single click you don't need to it's the same stuff uh, what we used to do from our CLI like the docker composer but we are using container to deploy our application so oh, right now nginx proxy is deployed we can just verify it this one this port is for the HTTPS port 80 also working let's go to the admin panel try to configure so by default the password is username is admin at example.com and the password is changed me once it's done you will come up to the your dashboard you can change the password if you want i'm just keeping it the same this is the dashboard which will show you how many proxy hosts you have redirection streams if you are doing video streaming or audio streaming the 404 hosts this is the whole section from where you can add your proxy host redirect and streams will just uh, go here in a couple of minutes this is the access list if you want to block some access for a specific application or restrict some some users or some ips to access this application so you can configure from here the access list also this is the ssl service from where you can use the auto generated SSL it's basically nginx proxy it's using let's encrypt so you can just add your email and it will configure your SSL and it renews the SSL also automatically even you can use some other cloud providers also like cloudflare or some service from amazon you can just configure it also moving on we have users you can create multiple users assign different roles this is how you can configure user help support multi-user also then on the next uh, we have audit log basically audit log is for everything what's going with the with your proxy server your the audit about everything and in the settings we have some basic setting if someone wants to come here it will show you the by default on port 80 instead of this if you want to show something else or you want to redirect something so this is how we can deploy nginx proxy even if the port in is just a single click so let's move on and try to add one host before adding any host let's go and try to deploy one application let's suppose i want to deploy my wordpress application i will just go to my app templates search for wordpress write the stack name 
Like name is WordPress. I'll just put some demo credentials. I will deploy the stack. So it's easy for you to deploy your applications from app templates and container rather than just copy paste the Docker Compose and you, you configure everything from CLI. So our WordPress stack is deployed now. But we need to make some changes here because the ports are exposing. We don't want to expose any port. We want to proxy the request from Nginx. So anyone will come, it will come or it should be come only through our proxy server, not on the ports. So there are two things which we need to do and that's something is very important. One thing is to remove these ports. And the second thing is we need to make sure that our WordPress is in the same network as our nginx so right now it's it created its own network wordpress if we go to networks this is our nginx proxy so in order to proxy forward the request to our services like to our containers we need to make sure that all of our applications should be in in the in our nginx proxy network it depends on the configuration how you want to do so right now there are two things we need to do one thing make sure the ports are closed second thing make sure the wordpress is in the same network so for that just go to wordpress edit the stack basically this is a compose file so first thing is i don't want to use my port just let me duplicate this tab for the clarification we need to copy this network name basically this is the nginx pro proxy default network name which in which our nginx is working so we need to use this network so in order to use this network i just uh, copy the code from there there are just few steps which you need to take one thing is you need to add the network block down there after your volumes after your services so you can this is the name of the network in which you want this let's suppose it's the nginx def proxy default network so we need to make sure that the wordpress is in the same network this is the first thing second thing you need to add select the network on the container level also so for just that you can just use this code basically this is you can just put it here it's showing that for wordpress db service it should use the nginx proxy network and also for the wordpress you can just copy paste it so make sure to add these networks to our containers and define globally that use this network instead of creating your own once it's done you can just update the stack here Once the stack is updated, you will see that the ports are not no longer published and our WordPress is in the same network as the Nginx proxy. So if you just come up here to the containers, you can see there is no published ports here. Also if you go to the networks and you will see Nginx proxy this network, in this network you can see your Nginx is working and your WordPress also is in the same network. So right now we have WordPress set up and it's working fine. Ports are closed and they are in the same network. So let's just move on and try to add this as a host. Okay, one, one thing I miss here, we need to do one more thing on the WordPress side. If we just go to address check, write the container name so that we can just proxy the request to our container name. Let's suppose I'm writing the container name is WordPress service. Update the stack. Once the stack is updated, meanwhile we can go to our proxy. Basically, this is the domain you are if you are using Cloudflare or Bluehost or CoreDaddy, you can just point your domain or subdomain to your server IP. Right now I am on localhost. So you can use your own IP here and just point. Let's suppose I have the domain WordPress dot test. I will add it here and write the WordPress service, which is the container name here. If you just come up here and you will see this is the container WordPress test service. 
and on which port by default WordPress internally it's working on port 80 so we can just use the port 80 if you want to send HTTP as request you, you can select from here otherwise if you want to send HTTP request to your service you can use it from here you have the options for cache assets blog common explorers web sockets if you are using streaming or something moving on you have a blog for custom location if you have sub paths let's suppose you have something for api and you want to proxy this to wordpress api on port 230 or something like this you can also use it from here you don't need to go to nginx configurations more you can use ssl certificate for ssl you have the configuration everything here just write the email and agree it will create the http certificate for your service this is how simple it is to use nginx proxy in advanced step you have the nginx configuration blocks where you can use these kind of blocks to proxy forward and to to do some configuration with your nginx so right now i'm not using ssl just going with the basic just add this host so my host is added so whenever when someone hits the wordpress dot test it will proxy my request to wordpress service just to show you guys i added this host on my local if you just see here this is the host i added here you can use your whatever cloud you are using you can just point to your ip from there let me just go to the domain in class this is how our nginx proxy so what's happening when someone come to our domain from other network nginx will forward the request to our container service which is wordpress service this thing and the wordpress is it's not longer published here so nginx proxy is forwarding the request to our wordpress service and you can see the final final stuff it come up it's doing the same thing which normally we used to deploy nginx on ubuntu or something and proxy forward so instead of the old way you can use the new docker way i'm just adding some configurations to test if everything is working fine so our wordpress is also installed over there there's some some issue with the wordpress but this is how you can you can configure your nginx proxy you can add multiple hosts multiple services this is for multiple domains subdomains you can add wildcard also redirections also if you want to redirect something and forward domain you you have all the options here which you normally do on on the nginx side just give it a try i'll just put the link for the portainer up also you can just go and see the portainer how we can configure portainer because from portainer you can easily manage all of your containers logins monitoring everything guys thank you very much